Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we are going to continue on with our discussion about different types of selection tools, namely the lasso tools. So if we come over to here, you're going to see that I have three different lasso tools. I'm just simply right clicking on the lasso and you can see I have the regular lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. The lasso tool itself is very much more like a surgical type of selection where I can pretty much just select anything I want just by simply clicking and dragging right there on the image. And just notice I can do whatever shape I want. Now I can also add on to my selection by holding down the shift key on my keyboard. And you'll notice now I have both selected. And again, just notice how I have a selection of anything I want in whatever kind of shape I want. Now let's say I want to remove part of that shape. If I hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard, I can go ahead and just say, listen, you know what? I select a little bit too much and you'll see I can just simply click and drag and now I've removed that selection. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but really good for, like I said, kind of more surgical type of selections, kind of a little more minute, smaller selections. Very good, so I'm gonna go ahead and just simply right click and deselect from there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our other lasso selections. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and now let's do the polygonal lasso tool. So as the name implies, it's basically like a polygon type of selection. So it's gonna be good for like straight lines. Uh, it could be like maybe a stop sign, could be like these little rooftops here, could be just anything that's kind of a straight shape that has corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. I'm just holding another Alt or Option key and using my scroll bar, but you can also use the controller command plus sign. So let's just say, for example, I just wanted to get like just the edge of this little roof kind of eave right there. So very simply, all I'm going to do is simply click. Now, once I click, I'm just going to move my mouse all the way to the end of what I want right there. See that? Now I've just made a nice little straight line. I'm going to come over to here and it's just following me with a nice little straight line. I come over to here and I'm just simply clicking to kind of anchor each of those little corners. All right. So I'll just come up to here. And of course I could fix this afterwards, but I'm just gonna come over here, come to the corners, and just know again, it's just anchoring at each little corner here. Come to there, come to there, and then once we're on, I'm done, you'll notice that when I move my mouse over it, I get this little circle right at the edge of my lasso icon, telling me that I'm done with my selection, I've kind of looped it. So I click on that, and now notice I have this great little selection here. Now I'm gonna zoom in again, and I just want you to know again how the, the shift or the Alt key are really helpful for the different types of selections. Now, if I wanted to remove some of this selection, you'll notice here how I have this little extra space right there. I could use any of my selection tools if I wanted to, right? I can come back over here, use my lasso tool, and then I can just hold down the Alt or Option key and then just kind of like scoop around it and then just kind of do that. And then notice how I've got less of a selection. And I could use any of these other tools to do that same thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my keyboard shortcut of controller command D to deselect. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this guy called the magnetic lasso tool. So again, as the name implies, it will magnetize itself to a part of your selection, okay? So if I go ahead and move my mouse over here, over the little onion dome, and you're gonna see, I'm going to just simply click and move my mouse. Now the key part with the magnetic lasso tool is trust. Trusting that Photoshop knows what to do and the magnetic lasso tool understands a little bit of the contrast between, let's say this onion dome and the sky behind it. So all we do very simply is just anchor at first and just kind of move your mouse around it. And then just notice how it's just perfectly conforming to the edges because it understands that there is contrast between the color of the onion dome and the sky and it's just kind of looping all around it. Now notice I went a little bit fast, a little bit furious there, but you can fix that like I showed you in the last exercise and just move your mouse around and notice it does a really good job. But occasionally you're gonna get some interference or some competition if you will with like the trees for example where the trees could possibly be similar in color therefore a little contrast. So you might have to just simply click and kind of do your more kind of manual anchors. All right, so just come into here, come into there, and then I'll just kind of loop around here. 
And then again, once I get to the beginning of it, I'm going to get that little circle. And now I have a nice little selection. And like I said, of course, I can come in here and maybe be a little more surgical with my regular lasso tool, hold down the Alter Option key, and then just kind of get rid of that. And now I'm a little bit better with my selection. All right, so let's go ahead and just zoom out a little bit. And you can see that's not bad. And then I can do whatever I want with it. Just like with the Marquee tool, I now have an active selection to be able to delete this, copy it, fill it in with whatever I want. Okay, so really, really nice features here with the lasso tools to be able to do more kind of creative and more precise type of selection. Okay, so practice that and have fun and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.